All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Bahashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to all the Akim doing pushing this work and all honors to truth and sincerity. And the sincere shall warm to the elect worldwide. Um, this video is, um, <laughs> says a lot. Because the brother, I sent this to the brother out there in Boston, okay? And he does a lot of videos highlighting these these facts, okay? And when it comes into this pass, passport bros, you know, this issue, or this, it's not even an issue, this topic, that so-called black women and, you know, mainly the so-called black women, she's talking about, you know, here it is, you got uh, Jake getting on planes, leaving the country to go find other women. And these other women are not, you know, Jake somewhere in Saskatchewan or Jake somewhere in Toronto catching a, a, a flight going to Philly or vice versa, okay? Uh, uh, um, you know, Jake down in Miami flying all the way up to Toronto, Montreal or some shit. No, it's not, you know, it's, it's not talking about that. It's talking about people leaving the country, flying predominantly to the east to find, you know, proper women, if you could say that, okay? as far as I'm concerned, they're all bugged out as hell, you know, but you can find, you know, over in those sides, you know, a woman who, who actually is a, you know, shame face, who, ha who hasn't been um, indoctrinated by the West, or who hasn't been infected by the West, okay, it's hard to find, but, you know, they're over there, right, but over here, as they would say, a needle in the haystack, Okay, because women over there, they're raised different from the time they're young, okay? More tradition, culture, way of life, all of that, okay? But women over here are just let loose. From the time they're young, they're given this um, speech about how powerful they are, how strong they are, and, you know, the so-called black woman is God and all this stuff. Because when you go into that uh, doctrine with Sinetta and the, the Hamite stuff, you know, they promote that, okay? And even amongst Esau, eat them. You know, they're feminists and all this stuff, and we don't need a man. And Look, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai made a man and a woman, okay? It's not uh, Fred and Fred, or Tom and Tom, or Fred and Tom, or Suzanne with Suzanne, or Suzanne with Kathy. It's Tom with Kathy, right? It, 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 that's just it, okay? But going back into the subject at hand, you know, here it is, you got these uh, so-called black women that are so-called fed up, talking about they want, you know, they're looking for a real man and all this stuff, right? But, I'd say nine or eight, ten, eight or nine times out of, out, out of ten, they're, you know, pushing their wicked ways upon this man, meaning, the, the juice that they have drunken, okay, in this society, which within this society they push. Come on, man, we, we, we already know what they push. We, we already know what they're about, okay? So here it is. You got so-called black woman that'll get a man who has a job, who's doing what he's supposed to do, but she'll get him and abuse him. You know, she'll be up on Instagram showing off her titties or whatever other app that she has talking to different guys behind a man's back, okay? And then she acts as if she's supposed to be the, the, the prize, okay? There is no value to you. You're just like the next scat on the street, okay? You're just like the next scatel boom on the street, okay? There is no value to you. So anyways, let's, let's play this. And and that's why the men are leaving you, okay? There, there's no value to you. You don't cook, you don't clean, you don't do anything. You just run your mouth, you give the man... Hey, man, there's more, as they would say, pros and cons. There's more cons than pros, okay? Your box is all dried up. You know how much men you slept with? Probably so much STDs you've, you've already received and gotten. You know? You're not no prize, man. You're a used-up bag. 
hag as they would say. And you're not even, you know, some of these bitches, they're not even over the age of uh, 25. And they could be uh, called a hag, okay? Because they used up. Let's play this. I, I think that we've just got a, a very, very selfish culture of women. And to any women out there that say I have internalized misogyny or anything like that, that would... And that's the other thing, too. When women come out and speak about these things, you got the, the truckload of women who, who come up and say... You must be abused by your your life sucks. You must be a fat bitch. This that all these different things that these women try to attack these women who are actually trying to walk the right way. Okay, trying to pull, it, it's it's simple. They're just trying to pull them back down into the hole. You know, Kiris One always had this famous saying in one of his raps, and it could be accounted for Jake as well. Okay, it could be accounted as the curses that apply onto us. When you go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 54, if I'm not mistaken, um, when you throw crabs inside of a barrel or a box or anything, they're all trying to climb out. And when one starts to climb up above the next one, they naturally just grab for them to try and climb above them to get out. So this is exactly what's happening. You know, they see a female who's escaping the modern day you know expectations for a female and they want to pull her back down into that box into society's scope of what a female should be okay so they come and they attack her and this woman here she's been you know she's been telling these women hey where they can go all right and they all try to attack her they, any woman who's speaking against the the so-called norms quote unquote the norms of society that a woman should follow they're all being attacked just like the men of the lord out there when we're speaking against the so-called norms of this society right which is not a norm which is perverseness we get attacked we get called anti-sem we get called a hate group we get called all types of stuff even amongst our own peers well, let's continue. Fire that I have a problem with women worldwide i do not have a problem with women worldwide i have a problem back it's not about me I hate to break it to you i i think that yep, exactly it's not it's not about me it's not about me <laughs> I hate to break it to you i i think that we've just got a, a very very selfish culture of women and to any women out there that say i have internalized misogyny or anything like that that would require that i have a problem with women worldwide i do not have a and that's the other thing too you know she's internalized misogyny and all this stuff that she's she's just for men she's She's broken, you know? Oh, this type of... Problem with women worldwide. I have a problem with Western women. And if you think that I'm just like... And that's the thing right there. With what? With Western women. Okay? With Western women. I mean, the disease is spreading, but these Western women are way out of control, man. They'll try to come into somebody's out, somebody else's culture and switch it up with their uh, Babylonian juice. Okay? Remember, the Lord said he's sick and tired of this place. The sins that have reached on to heaven. Women. And if you think that I'm just like making this up out of nowhere, reflect on the fact that there are Western men that are flying out. Here's the point. Listen to this. East to find wives. Are Eastern, are Western men that are flying out East to find wives. Are Eastern men coming out West to find wives? No. No. Where in Hell the world? No. They don't. They don't want no Western woman, because they know these Western women are out of order, man. All on the Instagram talking about whole oh, this and that and blah, blah blah. Look, man, you 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 women over here are out of fucking control, man. Why do you think this this place is called the daughter of Babylon, man? Confusion, Babel. Are men flying out in droves? to marry American women. Nobody wants us. Why? Exactly. Because you see, the men over here, this is going back into the Judah woman, mainly screaming and complaining. They're, they, you know, their men are leaving. They're, they're leaving in droves to go to these other countries and be treated as they see fit. But you women come up with so much excuses talking about Oh, you see, they're just going to go over there and try to oppress them. They're, they're going to they're go over there and they're going to um, 
how, how they say they're going to treat them. They're going to bring them back and they're going to hold that passport over their head. Get the hell out of here. You know how much money you got <laughs> you know much money you got to put up and you know what process you got to go through to bring somebody over and say this is my wife and this and that and blah blah blah. There's money involved. There's time. The fuck I'm going to waste my time to hold somebody Look, you could go to, as they would say, anywhere in the Bronx or one of these streets, 125th, this, that, and, and grab some hook or a hole. Like the apostle, <laughs> I'm not even saying, but hey, it's, 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 it's cheaper to pay them than to hold them, okay, than to hold their hand for a year or two. It's cheaper to pay them. Kick them out after. This isn't your house. And if so, go to a hotel. But the main point is, the men over here are fed up with your garbage. With your, with your, with your, 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 your pride, man. The pride of thy heart have deceived you. We're big. We're selfish. We don't want to hear anything. You can't tell. Here it is. We're big. We're selfish. There you go. Why? We're big. We're selfish. Marry American women. Nobody wants us. Why? We're big. We're selfish. We don't want to hear anything. You can't tell me to eat less. You can't tell me to change my life. You can't tell me it's not about me. And that's exactly why nobody wants you. Okay. You know, the password bros are leaving this place because these women, they're just too monstrous, okay? As the scriptures tell us. Slakia. Let's go into the scripture real quick. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 4, or 4 and 3, Slakia. Even the sea monsters draw out the breasts. They give suck to their young ones, to the... Even the sea monsters draw out the breast. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel, like an ostrich in the wilderness. Because the ostrich will bury its egg, walk back and step right on the fucking egg that it buried. Okay? And, you know, our, our, uh, our women... They become cruel cool onto their daughters, onto their sons and daughters, man. You see the stuff that they've done, where you see on those internet videos, they pull up to the, the baby father's house and just dump the baby on the on the um, on the plat and just drive off in the winter time with damn near no clothes on. You know, nobody wants that type of stuff. Okay, calling police on the man for simple simple things. She is a simpleton, man. Nobody wants those things. That's a bad example. Okay? Slock, you know, one second. So nobody don't want no woman like that. Okay? Proverbs chapter 9 and verse uh, 13. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. Okay? They don't know nothing. They're out there running them out, talking all this shit. You know? And this is a irksome thing onto men. Because you don't want to come home working 9 to 5, construction, whatever you're doing. And next thing you know, you got to come back to this beast. Isn't it, it, isn't it add up? You want to come back to a soft and calmly woman who's going to rub your shoulders, got food prepared for you. Okay. A so-called black woman, what she's gone through, she doesn't feel as if she's... Yeah, first of all, she, she doesn't feel like as if us, the so-called black men, have protected her. As if we're supposed to just build guns in slavery and slaughter everybody, okay? that That's stemming all the way back to that too as well. Her being raped by master and all these different things. But she she's not in her right mind. She doesn't feel, you know, oh, well, you see this happened, this incident happened. She gets triggered, man. And all those things are innate in her. Okay, just like us, we went through the same atrocities, worse, even this and that, you know, vice versa, however you want to say it, okay? Being castrated, being butt broken, all these type of things. But she has, a, has an innate feeling within her as if we didn't do enough, you know? But when she comes bringing that talk, she's foolish. She knows nothing, man. She's, yeah, hey, the Lord put uh, curses on both of us, okay, the man and the woman. Okay. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 49. Yeah, this is the one. Jeremiah 49. Let's 
16. Thy terrible, uh, Jeremiah 49 and 16. This is dealing with Esau. Thy terribleness have deceived thee, and the pride of thine heart, thy terribleness have deceived thee, and the pride of thine heart. O thou, o thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rocks. We know this is dealing with Esau and Edom. But two-thirds of our people walk after the same ways of Esau and Edom. They follow after him. They, they love doing the things that he does. Okay? So here it is. You got the so-called black woman in the same sense. In the same, um, you know, messed up way of thinking. That's why in 2nd Ezra... Second Ezra chapter eight, or eight and fifty says, you know, a lot of wickedness is going to be happening to these people in the latter days because what they walked in great pride. Okay, I mean that would mean that would have been a better scripture for this, but so-called black woman, she's running after the ways of Esau Edom. Okay, she's running after the ways of Esau Edom, her oppressor. Okay, and the pride. And her heart has deceived her mind, man. She's thinking that this system is for her. She could do this, you know, she could get over. The black woman is God. All this stuff is is filling up her mind. Nobody wants no woman like this, okay? You walk into a McDonald's and, you know, they're not fast enough with the food. All of a sudden, she's flinging shit. She's going crazy like a manic depression. You know, you got these other nations. Their women are just calmly, okay? The men might rile up a little bit or say something in their language or whatever, but they hold their uh, composure, you know, disposition. They don't go flipping out and throwing shit all over the place. And You know what I mean? If they're, if they're disrespected all the way, disrespected on some 730 shit, but not, not just, you know, my fries are cold. All of a sudden they turn around, flip out and start shooting people. Those are curses, man. Deuteronomy 28 and 28. The Lord said that he's going to smite your mind, your your, 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 lab, your mind with madness, man. Craziness of mind. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 25. I applied my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly even the foolishness of madness check this out and i find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is sneers and nets and whose hands as bands who pleaseth whosoever pleases god shall escape from her but the sinner shall be taken by her that's why we keep telling you individuals watch out for these women man Laab, Laab, the mind, okay, is a sneers and, 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 and nets, man, that's traps. Because all these women, you know, they think off of emotion, you know. And the way that they think is not like how a man would think. That's why they're not prepared to go into war, situations of war and certain things like that, okay. They freak out. But going back to the Judite woman, okay, of our women, Okay, these curses apply on to, and you know you, you're trying to you're dealing with something that was made to do these things, man. She's got like the mentality of a child, man, of a teenage child, man. Like she she's just out there to trap you. So once again, why the fuck would a man want to deal with something like that? Okay, you come home after a long day. And the first thing she want to do with you is argue. No, no, no. You you want to escape something like that, okay? You don't want to be. You don't want to be around that. Sirach chapter uh, twenty five and sixteen. I rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep a house with a wicked woman. That's right. So you can see now that why these so called passport bros don't want to be around you women, okay? Because, you know, you women out there, you, you think because you got all this fake hair, these fake nails, 
all that shit fades, man. All that beauty, all that bullshit. The scriptures well prepare us about that. And men, MGTOW, all that shit's out there. Hey, listen, their grandmothers and mothers don't warn them, okay? And they don't, they don't woke up and listen like, look, I ain't fucking with you bitches no more. We don't need you to regenerate our, 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 um, our um, lineage, okay? We don't need you. It's either you get down, get right, or, you know, hey, whatever the Lord's got in store for you, okay? This is why you're complaining, because, you know, now it's starting to hit you. Now you're starting to feel it. You know, a lot of you so-called black women, like I said, goes back to ego and pride. You want to be seen, uh, you know, black woman, God, and all this stuff. I want my little black babies with my black man and all this stuff. Okay, cool. But all of that black woman is God, all this bullshit. Look, all that stuff, all that wine has filled up your mind, man, and, and put you in those per per perverse positions, Okay. When these men are trying to tell you that, hey, look, that's your enemy. Esau, eat him. Change from his ways. Pull away from him. No, you don't want it. Because you know when you're with, when you're with the man's ways, the so-called man, okay, Esau, eat him, you get benefits. You get money. Okay, you get protection, as they would say, right? Man. And even though you say you got so-called protection from the man, well, guess what? The man will still bust your head open, crack your head open, get four days in jail, just like that guy that beat up that woman. She cracked his window or smashed his window or something like that. And this, this guy fully uppercut, slapped, had a gun in his hand, everything. And he comes back, he only got four days in jail, and that, that, that's basically it, Okay. But you won't listen. You won't listen. Stumble not, verse 21, stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. See, there's a lot of women, this is the, hey, you just bullshit anyways, man. Your beauty, your so-called beauty is going to fade. That's only there for a, t uh, uh, a time. And guess what? Your baby making season, you can only make babies for a while. A man can make babies you know, Lord's will on, on, until he dies, yo. You never figure deal that. But this is the problem with you women, so-called Judite woman, especially. You got you you built off a of testosterone or something like that, man. Too much chicken or something. Cause you you almost act like you want to be a man, okay? The rough way you act, the, the you know nobody that's not womanly, man. Nobody wants that shit. Okay. A woman, you know, in a man's mind is a, a soft-spoken woman, a soft-spoken individual, you know, not ruly and unruly. You know, so-called black woman, she's like, you know, you know, nowadays when people <laughs> speak about her, it's like raw digger, man, a blunt smoking, uh, fucking, uh, you know, Hacking from the throat, spitting all over the place, you know, drinking 40s and shit. Like, nobody wants that. That's not a good look, okay? No matter how beautiful you look, that's not a good look, okay? So we're not going to stumble at that falsehood that you, you set up, okay? These fake nails and all this bullshit too as well. They're not going to fall for that shit, okay? It's not just. And it's temporal, man. What was that? Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and 18. You know, that's temporal. And it's bullshit, by the way, because, you know, a lot of you women, you think that shit look cute, but who the fuck wants a woman with with two-inch nails and... Fuck, you're looking like a damn drag queen, most of you bitches, man. Sirach chapter... Uh, are you so-called black woman, that green, funky hair in your head? That's not natural, man. All even those... Blonde wigs and blue-eyed and smelling like shit. Because the products that you guys put on, that, that shit only smells good for about an hour. Or in the midst of putting it on. And there's so much chemicals in that stuff, you don't even want to breathe that stuff in. You guys, you're way out of order. It's no wonder nobody wants you, okay? 
Sirach chapter 19 and verse 2. Wine and women will cause uh, slack here. Wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away. And he that is, and he that cleaveth to harlots will become impotent. That's right. But main point, wine and women. This can go into, uh, you know, manifold. This can go into philosophies. But, you know, these women can cause a man of understanding to stumble and fall. Look what happened to Solomon. Okay, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go to get there real quick. Chapter 11, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, right here. If you want, go read it. Okay. So, you know, the jig is up on you women, man. The jig is up. For years, you've been calling men dogs and all this stuff, but really, you know, as, as uh, I can't remember that movie with Total, and the curtain came down, and everybody really saw who was behind the curtain. This is the same thing what's happening with you women now. And this is your uh, latest defense. Passport, bro, is he leaving the country just because you want to find um, weak women who can't stand up for themselves? And No, they're going to find women. That when they go to work, they come back home, and there's not been a man in their house. You haven't been on social media talking to different men, showing off your boobies, showing off your ass, all that stuff. Perhaps per adventure you have kids, that they're taking care of the kids, they're not in the washroom, smoking some weed, taking fucking nudie shots, you know, shit like that. They're not looking for no weak women, because a woman who actually knows how to stand up to the standards of a woman is not weak, okay? You women over here are weak. You're a poor example of what a woman should be, okay? And that's why you're complaining. Really, you're complaining because your mother didn't set a good, good example for you. And your grandmother, the whole before that, and the whole before that, okay? And, hey, say for what it is, man, you know? You got no defense for your actions. Just like they say a wicked man, was that, Ecclesiastes, Sirach chapter 32 and 17, wicked man find an excuse. You women, hey, you find all the excuses in the world. You know, you get caught cheating, you go, oh, it's emotional. I, I had an emotional tie to him. Get the fuck out of here, man. Let's go into the last scripture here. And really and truly, you women gonna get destroyed because... You think that, you know, you could pull your sneakiness and all this stuff like that. The Lord sees it, man. And especially you women who, you know, you're with men of the Lord. Hey, the men are putting up curses. <laughs> the men are putting up curses. But little do you know, man. And, hey, you might get zapped. Simple and plain. The Lord might zap you, send him a woman that actually does what she's supposed to do and she's saved not you okay you don't know what 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 tomorrow holds just because you say oh yeah my man my man he's out there on the highways and he makes the videos and, you know i may have slipped once or twice three times four times five times six times you know hey lord take you away take you out kids are no kids okay because the men of the lord they're putting up prayers and the brothers put up prayers to protect the brothers, okay? Anyway, so I racked up 25. And, you know, Yahweh Shem Yahshai said, Sin no more, go thy way. Yes, this is true. But aren't a woman who's actually doing that to a man who's actually in the truth, who's doing this in all honesty, truth, and sincerity? Hey, man. Lord gonna get you, okay? Lord gonna make a public example out of you. You know, the brother, like I said, the brother will have compassion, right? Or mercy, but you, 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 you using him, okay? You using him and abusing him, okay? And the Lord, hey, the Lord's judgment is the Lord's judgment. So I rack chapter 25 and verse uh, 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Okay, not the men of the Lord, because the men of the Lord, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. 
And guess what? They put their trust into who? Yahweh Shem Shai. Well, onto you two thirds, you niggas get folded over by these women, you know. Set up, you know. It ultimately, is a, is a big setup. It's a big trap. Ecclesiastes chapter uh, seven, right? But you women, you'll go, you'll go out there knowing you got this thug that you say you're going out with, a, a, a fucking six-time parolee, all right? And then you go mess with some other dude, and somehow he find out. Next thing you know, he go shoot the dude because of you, okay? Or vice versa. The dude find out you got a guy or multiple guys and go kill all those guys, okay? You women are wicked, man. And Yahweh Shem Yahushai is going to pass judgment on you, man. Okay, you know, you may be getting away with your shit for now, laughing. Hey, the scriptures tell you that. You know, because uh, that judgment isn't executed speedily. You know, they think themselves to be in a good position. They're like, nah, this ain't gonna happen. Look, man, fuck this guy. I'm getting older. You know, this ain't happened to me. So and so didn't happen to me. Boom! Within a month, all of a sudden you got a fucking brain tumor or something. You're dying. Horribly, you know what I'm saying? You know, they, they, they thought in their times when they were getting uh, mashed down by some other dude or, you know, hey, they, they, they went and had their fun. They had their consolation, right? And then the Lord passed judgment on them. Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 6, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. You hear that? Both maids. Wait, hold up. Let me go back. Slate utterly old and young. Right. Like what I was saying. These women thought they got away with something. Yeah, how about Shimei Shah has got judgment up the street for them? Because, I, like I said, you don't know. Don't boast yourself. You don't know what tomorrow holds. The right thing is for you to do is uh, buckle down and serve Yah about Shimei Shah. Be humble. Okay. Slate utterly old and young. Both maids and little children and women but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin and begin at my sanctuary then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house so you see look when you help Hashem Yahushai sends forth his judgment he's not going to care if you old young you go, he's going to get down. You part of that two-thirds, that's it. You know, what was said to Jezebel for the dog to tear the flesh, right? Roughly phrasing. You women are going to see a multitude of, of judgment, man. You know? You saw Edom, he's a sick individual. He's sick in the brain, man. So when you go back to the medieval times and you see the, the as they would say, when you go back to when Esau, Edom, got his uh power seat back okay and you find the instruments of like around i don't know i think it was like the uh, 1700s 1800s these tools that he made okay these are uh blunt instruments okay and it was used on women now esau edom has further advanced Okay, he, he's worked on his machinery. So we know that, hey, when you see movies like Saw and all the Caterpillar and all this stuff, I think it was Human Caterpillar or something like that. When you see all these movies, you better realize that this man is sick. Okay, this man is sick. He can keep you alive. <laughs> he can keep you alive while torturing you for years. All right. So you women out there talking about passport bros, this, that, blah, blah, blah. You off, man. Nobody wants you. Because you're sick. You sick too. That's why I went to that scripture in Jeremiah. The pride of thy heart have deceived you because you're coming just... This man has given you so much power in this system that you, 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 you become sick. You become power sick, man. Okay? But hey, Yahweh Shemiel Shai gonna cleanse you. 
that be some of destruction. Y'all watching me out of going cleansing, man. You know? And like I said, this is why nobody wants you. Nobody wants a, a, a loud, clamorous woman, you know, voiceless in a, in a sense of um, nonsense. You know, just, just a mouth breather, you know? Nobody wants that, man. That's not, that's not sexy, all right, as they would say. Nobody wants a raw digger, some blunt smoking, hoarse voice, you know, cat weave wearing, you know, dirty, dirty G string, dirty bra. No, look, sour smelling here. Nobody wants that. That's not, that's not comedy, okay? So with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostle elders of great millstone that rule well. And peace and salutations to Allah Akim doing and push his work. And all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a sincere shalom to the elect worldwide. I hope you're edified. Wa Abad Babad. Shalom.